Uh, what we're going to try and do is we're going to start with a um, easy one and we'll work our way up. All right. Uh, here we go, everybody. Let me switch over to main camera. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our third chapter in How to Tune. This is a live cartooning class uh, for all ages. We have kids tuning in. We have adults tuning in. We have teachers and parents tuning in. Um, so I want to make my first point a very important one, and that is this. Please be respectful of one another. Everybody is so talented and trying their very, very best in this class. So I want you always to encourage one another, and I want you to have only positive things to say, okay? We're going to have a great time today. Today's themes is myths and monsters, and it's one of my favorite themes because I created a book called Myths and Monsters, 50 Mazes for Kids, which features all sorts of wonderful creatures. And we are going to do those. Um, this class runs uh, every weekday, Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Also on Saturdays, I'm adding a special How to Tune or Once Upon a Tune story time where I will draw stories as I tell them. Okay? All right. All you need to participate in the class is three things. Something to draw on, something to draw with, and your imagination. All right, let's uh, get ready. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Everybody, let's draw. Okay, we're gonna. Oops, sorry. We're gonna switch over. To, there we go. Switch over to our uh, paper and pen. All right, here we go, folks. Let's gonna let's start with. Um, hmm, what do we want to start with today? We're gonna start with just a very uh, or a fun monster. Um, we are going to start with Bigfoot. Okay, so we're going to start with one from um, folklore and uh, from, folklore from the United States, and that is Bigfoot. So if you'd like to learn to draw Bigfoot, let's begin. Paper, pen, pencil, crayon, whatever you want to use, here we go. We're going to start with the eyes. One, two. That's the brow right above the eye. Okay, Bigfoot and Sasquatch or Yeti, all very similar. All right, everybody should be drawing. So it's basically a letter U and a letter U. Jonah asked, uh, what pen do I use? I use the PM, Zebra PM701. That is the marker I use, okay? You can tell I'm getting a little bit better at this. Uh, I started to have some cards ready and, and so forth. So, all right, next, the nose. Down, over, backwards, letter G. Down, over, backwards, letter G. Connect from here to here. Girls Fisher, if yours is ugly, it's supposed to be ugly. It's Bigfoot. He should look ugly and funny and scary and gross. So don't worry if your drawing looks ugly. That's okay. I always tell people if your drawing looks funny, it's supposed to look funny. It's a cartoon. I do not recommend um, fancy art paper or sketchbook. I think just use regular old copy paper so you can do lots and lots of drawings, okay? It's fine to use a sketchbook, but you don't have to. Okay. 
Um, if I'm not, if you see it stop, it means I'm just pausing so everyone can catch up, okay? Here we go. From here to here, you draw a line. All right. You can use construction paper, copy paper, cardboard, anything at all is fine. It's whatever you want to draw on. I have some people draw on their iPads. Okay. Yes, I can mention before I pause. Okay, I'm pausing for a second. All right. Let you catch up. And here we go. Line coming down. Scribble a little beard and then up. And then I'm going to pause for a second. Okay. I wouldn't draw on my table with a marker. That would be a bad idea. I'm very, very old. I am 49 years old. I have three kids, and I teach at a high school here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I teach at the Charles M. Schultz Museum in Santa Rosa, California. All right. Now, scribble, 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 scribble. No drawings are bad. All drawings are good so long as you are trying your very best. Oh, I'm so, if it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen, then I am really impressed because that's pretty cool. If you could create the world's ugliest thing, that's great because that's what we're going to do later today. We're going to create a creature called the Squonk. And it's so much fun because you're all going to help. All right. Just above the brow like that. Okay, I do teach at Central Catholic High School. That's right. Now I come out, scribble, scribble, and in, and then I'm going to pause there. Don't worry about messing up. Mistakes are how we learn, okay? Yours looks like when your mom wakes you up for school. That's pretty awesome. All right, then we have the other arm down. Scribble, 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 and up. Somebody remembers the squonk that I perform at your school or at a festival. You've heard about the story about the squonk. Do I animate is one of the questions I got. Um, I don't animate very often. I, I've done a little bit of animation. Okay, down and then down. This drawing is what's called symmetrical, which means it's the same in the left as it is in the right. I have people asking, what's a squonk? You're going to find out soon. What camera do I use? Uh, the company is called IPVO, I-P-E-V-I-O. Don't worry if you miss parts. You can tune in. Uh, we'll post this later, okay? Now down, scribble, 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 up, upside down letter U. Scribble, 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 up, and connect. Girls Fisher, sure, I can give you a shout-out. But I have to be careful because now I'm going to have a 1,000 people ask for shout-outs, and I can't do all those. I have a, a pet. I have a cat named Mittens. Okay? All right, and I am going to slow it down just a little bit here because we're going to be drawing hands. And hands are tricky. I know that. That's okay. So you've got a thumb around and down and in around and up that forms a thumb and one finger it is okay if your big foot looks skinny it's okay if your big foot looks fat it's okay it's your drawing down and in and then from up here down and in and then watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the fingers curled. I just add one right there. Okay? I'm going to pause for a second and let everybody catch up. Uh, somebody asked, what's my favorite thing to draw? We're drawing it today. Monsters. I love drawing monsters. I love drawing monsters, and I also love drawing chickens. And today, by the way, is poultry day, which means it's chicken day. All right, other hand, thumb, down, out, around, and up, 
Remember how we did that? It's okay if you drew his hands backwards, his ears weird. He doesn't even have ears. So <laughs> anything you did is just fine. Don't worry about it. Ugly drawings are wonderful because they're monsters. And ugly monsters need love too, okay? So we're all going to love our drawings, especially if our drawing looks ugly or bad. Your drawings aren't supposed to look exactly like mine because you all have your own style, your own way of drawing that makes you who you are. I see Sam on there and Aaron and E.B. Shells and Sasha and Robin and Stacy and Elena and Lewis, all these wonderful kids joining in and adults too. And uh, here we go. Now the feet. This is the fun part. Around. That's a letter C. Out. One, two, three, and in. And I'm going to pause there. Hi, Elena. And Aria. And Dana. And Amia. And Tammy. Oh, my goodness. All these wonderful artists, young artists tuning in. Megan. It looks so funny. Excellent. My favorite color is red. Okay, round. One, two, and three, and up. We're almost done with our Bigfoot. The next drawing after this one is going to be a dragon. It's going to take a lot of time, so you're going to need to be very, very patient, okay? But let's finish up our Bigfoot. And all we need to add is toenails. It's not supposed to look like mine. It's supposed to look like yours. Toenails are just like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hello, Lauren, Caitlin, and Riley. Thanks for tuning in. And Logan and Levi are here and Alexis and James and Luca and Rocco. Oh, my goodness. So many friends from all over the place. All right. You can't see the bottom of the feet. Let me move that up just a little bit because I do see that. There we go. Okay. So what's the most important thing? If you've taken my class before, you know it's sign your name. I'm going to put my signature up here. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. Be very proud of your drawing. And that is your Bigfoot. All right. Setting it aside. We're ready for the next drawing. Next drawing is going to be a dragon. Here we go with the dragon. Blank piece of paper. Okay. Blank piece of paper. Elias, Lenora, and Rosalind are tuned in. Great. Are you guys ready to draw a dragon? All right, then let's get going. We're ready. We're going to start with the eyes, everyone. So if you don't worry, because I paused for a second there, uh, but you should be able to hear me talking. We're going to start with a circle. And then a letter C backwards. I'm going to pause. Okay, we're pausing here. All right, now the pupils. That's the little dots in the eyes. If you like the drawings and you're enjoying the class, please let me know by clicking on that like, okay? Very important that uh, I know you're enjoying this, and I hope you are. <laughs> Your dragon's going to have big eyes. That's okay, though. Don't worry if you run out of room. Okay, and I see I have the th three kids tuned in. And all right, here we go. These are the br this is a brow above the eyes. One, two, and Elias is tuned in. And Kate and Vicky. We're going to draw a unicorn next after our dragon, okay? Hi, Robot Gamer. All right, now for the nose and snout. 
and mouth. Don't worry about messing up. It's okay. We all make mistakes. It's how we learn. I make mistakes all the time. I come down and then up and then add a line there. Okay, you got that? I have a whole day when I'm doing dinosaurs probably next week. Sports guy asked about buying my artwork. Yes, but I'll post that information at the very end or on my website just because I don't worry. I want kids to worry about having to buy artwork. Um, just worry about drawing and having fun, okay? I appreciate everyone's support, though, and I will post a link at the end. Come down, up, and a little squiggle there at the end just to give it a little bit of personality. It is tough to learn how to draw, but if you're patient, take your time and follow along. You're drawing it once now, and then you draw it again later. And each time you draw it, you'll get a little bit better. It's just like learning how to play sports or any activity. It takes practice. I get a little dash there for the corner of the mouth, and then the other nostril grows right here. Hi, uh, Lainey and Casey. All right, now, here we go with the lower jaw. Right here, it's just letter L, out, point, up, around. I did a lot of things there. So down, point, out, point, in, up, around, okay? I want everybody to remember, support one another. You're all doing a wonderful job. And you can share your drawings with me on social media, especially Isaac and Evan. I want to see your drawings for sure. And I've got a lot of requests coming in. Hi, Lucas. Tomorrow we'll do it by request, which means you can make requests. All right, here we go with the teeth. All your drawings look wonderful because they're your drawings. And just because it doesn't look like mine, that's okay. I've been doing this a long time. I've had a lot of practice. And I'm just getting better and better. I'm still learning too. So yeah, I've got the teeth in there. And then for the mouth, inside of the mouth, I got a line coming down like this. Okay. Kyle and Tommy are watching. Nice to see you. And then we just see a little bit of the tongue in there. Okay. And then we're going to shade in. Someone asked, do I draw science fiction? I draw all kinds of different things. So um, we'll see how much time we have today because I like drawing aliens. And I'd love to draw an alien today, but... I saw all the pictures people sent me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter yesterday. They were wonderful. You guys are all doing so good. I'm hoping some of you will send me some that I can post on my website at maystunes.com, okay? Ellie's watching, but she can't comment. That's okay. I can't type comments either just because I'm drawing. Your dog ate your giraffe this morning. Well, that's better than a giraffe eating your dog. So... That's a, that's a good thing. Okay, here we go. From the top of this, right where this eyebrow is, okay? Come down, down, and out. Okay? Got that? Gabby and Mickey are watching and loving it. Oh, there's going to be a lot more dad, jo dad jokes um, on this channel. All right. From right here, this lower jaw, come down like that. Girls Fisher, yours looks like a chicken. Great, because today is chicken day. I appreciate that it looks like a chicken. If you run out of room, do not worry. It's okay. We all run out of room sometimes. All right. Now, we're going to come down a little bit more, and this is where we're going to put the first arm. All right, we draw a letter V, a line out, 
Okay. One, two, and then letter C, up and in. Okay, that's our first arm. You can turn yours into any kind of dragon you want. It's your drawing, so anything at all is fine, okay? And then just connect from here to here. This is a lot of detail in this one, so it takes us a long time to draw this one. Our next drawing after this is going to be a unicorn. That moves a little bit faster on the unicorn, but... Uh, are we doing wings? We can do wings, sure. We'll do small wings, though. Some dragons have wings, some don't. All right, the other arm, out. One, two, letter C, up, and in. There's the other arm. Tomorrow is by request day. So remember to save some of those requests for tomorrow, okay? All right. A little bit more of the body comes down there. I'm stopping for a second. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw the legs. Now I'm going to show you for uh, uh, the legs a little trick. It's just a number... Two, and then connect right there, okay? So number two. If you run a room, it's okay. You only have to draw part of it. You don't have to draw the whole thing. I like fat dragons for those who drew fat dragons. I like skinny dragons. Any kind of dragon is a wonderful dragon. Okay. Girls Fisher, hello again. I do draw this every single day. All right, and then we come in, out, in, out. It's a letter W, see? Letter W, and then in, like that. Okay? There's uh, the legs, and I ran out. Let me push that up a little bit, because I can see that we're missing a little bit of the bottom of the page. Okay? There we go. All right, there everybody can see. Okay, the other foot just sort of one little thing sticking out at the bottom there, okay? The dragon does not have hair. Uh, class every day starts at 1 and runs anywhere between 40 minutes to an hour. Um, the Saturday ones are shorter. Okay. Emmeline? Is it Emmeline or Emmeline? Hi, how are you? I do remember, Aaron. All right, now the wings. Wings are a little tricky, so watch carefully. Down, and I'm going to stop there. Okay. Hi, Aria. Nice to see you. Saturday ones are at 1 o'clock, but Saturdays are a story time where I'll draw stories as I tell them, and they're a lot shorter. Okay. A llama is a good request. I think we'll do that maybe for our request tomorrow. Tomorrow we're doing request. Okay. There's Heather. My name is Joe. My students call me Mr. Joe, but you can just call me Joe is fine. Down, up, around, down, up, and in. We're giving them little tiny wings. Today is chicken day. So everybody keeps asking for a chicken, which is fine. Actually, if you visit mazetunes.com, you'll see my chicken. Uh, if you have requests tomorrow, tune in tomorrow and um, shout them out, and I'll do them tomorrow. Down connect, connect, connect. There's your wing. Elephant. I have actually elephant. If you visit the channel, there's a how to draw an elephant there. A uh, lot of requests for can I make him draw fire? 
Um, yeah, we could do that, I think. All right, let's finish this up. We come down, add a line there. I'm pausing for a second, okay? All right, and then the tail. Uh, yeah, I've drawn people. Someone asked if I ever draw people. Yeah, I've, I draw people sometimes. We'll do a whole day of that. If you ran out of space for the tail, don't worry about it. It's okay. Just draw what you have room for. You're still learning something. It's okay. Now, on the back, there's something called these crenellations. They're these things that look like this. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Hide behind the wing, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Ooh, that's a lot of drawing. So I'm going to pause there for a second while you do that, okay? And we can, we can add fire. We've had so many requests for fire, we will add fire. Yes, we will, okay? And then anyone who has requests for tomorrow, save them for tomorrow, okay? Uh, somebody asked if I like TikTok. Yeah, I, I, I like TikTok. I do drawing on TikTok. Uh, I'm quick draw tunes on TikTok. I'll post that at the end. Uh, Megan and her brother. Hello. All right. We're going to add uh, some fire next. Just sort of hides behind the teeth. And then fire is just sort of scribbly. You don't have to match me. Just... Just scribble that in like that. That's fire. Is my drawing fire? Does everybody think my drawing is fire? Does anybody say fire? Add some spots to the wings. Yeah, everybody thinks it's fire. Good. Okay, good. Um, let's add the stomach. We got a line here and a line here. Okay. Alexis, I have uh, three kids, uh, although one's now 18, and then I have a daughter who is 15, and I have a daughter who is 13. Line here, 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 here. Now, uh, you can draw spots or you can draw stripes, or you can draw anything you want. I'm going to go ahead and give some polka dots, but you don't have to do polka dots. You can do anything you like. Now, right now, he's not a really mean dragon. He's sort of a friendly dragon, but if you want to make him a mean dragon, and you don't have to, you just have to change the eyelids like that. Now he's a bit more vicious and ferocious. You get to name the dragon. I never name any of my characters. You have to name them yourself. It's up to you. It's your drawing, not mine. All right. What's the most important thing when you're done with your drawing? What do we do? Sign your name. Take pride in your work. There is your dragon. Okay, here we go. Next one is going to be a unicorn. If you would like a unicorn, that's our next drawing. Okay, you should always be proud of everything you draw because you made the effort to try your best. And that's all that really matters. You don't have to be the best in the world. You just have to be the best you that you can be. And that's all anyone expects you is to always be the best you that you can be. I'm still learning. I get better each and every day because practice makes, practice makes pretty good. Nobody's perfect. We're still learning. Here we go. All right, everybody. The long requested unicorn. Okay. Here we go with a unicorn. We're just we're gonna start right with the horn. Practice makes progress. That's a, that's another way of saying it too. I like practice makes pretty good because it's still learning. Okay, we're gonna start with the horn. Okay. 
Okay. Hi, Alexis. And Alyssa. And Athena. And Ari. And Alana again. And Marina. And Jonah. Oh, my goodness. So many wonderful. And, and Tammy's here. All right. Amia's mom is here. Hi, Amia's mom. I hope you're drawing, too. This isn't just for kids. This is for everyone. Okay, so that's the horn. That's pretty easy, right? We can do that. There's Athena. What's the best thing I've ever I ever drew? Well, there's no good or bad, just different. So I love all of them. Um, I don't have a real favorite. I like drawing mazes and monsters, though. All right, next we're going to draw a little bit of the mane right here so that we can make that sort of horn sort of popping out of the mane. Some artists don't do that. Some like to come out of the forehead and have the mane around it. I, I, I just like having it come around the mane like that. Okay. Is it Liliana? or Lila I can't quite see it. Liliana. And Amanda. And Jaina or John, J Jaina. And Heather. Girls Fisher, don't worry if you have to leave. I'll be back again tomorrow. And all of these will be posted online for you to watch later. But goodbye. We'll miss you. All right. Here we go. Um, down. And then we're going to add an ear. And then come down. Okay? These are weird shapes. So I know it's a little tough to draw, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try your best. And Alea loves unicorns. Sasha, I'll slow down just a little, okay? My favorite animal, I love drawing monsters. And I, my favorite animal, though, is chickens. We're going to draw a troll today. All right. Next, we come down, out, around, and up. And I'm going to stop right there for a minute, okay? Okay. I see Michael's tuned in. Tomorrow you can make requests for your favorite animals, okay? Today we're drawing all monsters and mythology. A little dash right there. A line here. And then up, up, and around. Min the story of the Minotaur is one of my favorites because it has a maze in it. Sophia and Ileana are tuning in. All right. We've got a little line like this for a nostril. I'll pause there for a second. All right, next the eyes. Hi, Lucy. Well, unicorns aren't monsters, but they are myths. And today's subject is myths and monsters. A satyr, a satyr, a satyr. We'll draw a satyr on Saturday. Anybody leaving because of my jokes yet? Hi, Grayson. Okay, now for the rest of the main. I was going to fix that eyelid a little bit there. And if you want, you can add eyelashes. Sherry, I am a dad, yes. It is pronounced Sater, you're right. So then we'll draw it on Sater Day. Uh, 
All right, Sam, are you ready for our next drawing here? Here we go. We're going to add a line down like this. And then we're going to add the first leg. This one takes a lot of time, so we're going to be very patient. Down, zigzag, and up. If we give it wings, it would then be an alicorn. It would be an alicorn because it has a, a horn and wings, alicorn. Just wings uh, would be a pegasus. Just a horn is a unicorn. And if it were made out of sugar, it would be a candy corn. Sorry, these jokes are really unicorny. <laughs> All right. Other leg out like this. All right, and then the hooves. We'll come back to shade those in later. Can we do a zombie? Oh, that would be fun. Um, we'll see how much time we have, okay? If not, we could always do that as a request. I have a line for the stomach, and then one leg down, and then up. Add a flowing tail. Yes, I will add a flowing tail. Uh, it's probably not lag. It's probably just me pausing. So be patient, okay? You guys are doing so good. This is such a tough drawing. All these drawings say are really tough ones. So I'm very proud of you that you're able to take your time and draw with me today. Thank you so much for spending your afternoon with me. Down. And up. Guys are doing so good. Keep up the great work. You're doing so good. We're going to make uh, her on a cloud. So we have to add the other leg right there. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to shade in the hooves like this. All right. Hi, Riley. Remember, you're learning this for the very first time, so it's okay to make changes. And the next time you draw it, you can fix it. Lastly, how about we add a little bit of a cloud here? All right. And then when you're all done, sign your name, take pride in your work. If yours looks like a donkey, then it's a donkey corn, and that's okay. It's your drawing. Yes, if you want to add a rainbow in the background, we can do that, or you can do that too. Just remember when you color it, to color in the rainbow. All right. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. We're done with our unicorn. Don't worry about things like if you ran out of room. You can watch this video again later to try again. And each time you'll get better and better. And each time I get better and better because I'm still learning too. Okay. All right. Everybody ready? Take a blank piece of paper. Next is one of my favorites. Uh, and Brie and Maddie, you're going to love this one. It is a troll. Yeah, it's one of my favorite ones, a troll. Okay. Um, so we're going to draw a troll, blank piece of paper. Let's begin. Um, the name of the type of pen I use is a Zebra PM701. That's the type of pen I use. Okay. And my paper is just regular old coffee paper. 
Here we go, a troll. Let's start with the nose. Okay. There's a tro. I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting much better at the technology. Well, it took me a day or two to work this out. I'm still getting better. Yes, a very big nose. And there's a line coming across the nose and then a little uh, wart on top of the nose. If anyone needs to leave, that's okay. You can leave and come back. Um, I will post this later. Okay. Uh, today's class probably will last. Yeah, there is a little bit of lag right now just because we have a lot of people viewing. Um, today's class will probably do a little closer to an hour today, probably about 50 minutes, five zero. All right, the eyes. One, because these drawings are a lot more detailed. Two. All right. And then like this. Um, we're doing today one, two, three, four. We'll probably do about five drawings. Yes, my name is Joe Woes. Joe Woes here. Deku. Is it really Deku or is it uh, you're asking me to shout out anime characters? Okay. Here we go. Uh, next are the pupils. And then the eyebrows. The unicorn turned out just fine. Um, I'll post a little bit later. Okay, next is the mouth. There we go. I have some lots of requests coming in. I wish we had lots and lots. I wish we could just stay here all day. But I have to draw some other things, too. <laughs> I have to work. All right. Yes, that did look like the nose was the face, but that's okay. Come down, around, and up. If it's a weird shape, it's okay. I work, I'm a cartoonist, so I just work from home. Um, uh, but I also teach. But I'm teaching from home right now, too, because my students are all uh, home from school. Um, but I do books. So I have a book I have to work on and I have to finish. So ears look like this. Liliana asks, what is my favorite drawing? My favorite drawing is always the next one. Whatever I draw next is always my favorite. Yeah, Cameron, I think we're all kind of quarantined right now. That's why I wanted to do these free classes. Up, point down. Up, point down. Hi, unicorn. Uh, well, the reason we didn't finish the head between the eyebrows yet is because we're going to actually draw a helmet. It looks like this. Had a line. And then an upside down letter U. Okay. Aaron asks, have I gone to Kennywood? Not this year yet. They're not open yet. But yes, I go to Kennywood uh, all the time. Sophia, this is a uh, school assignment. Well, then you let your teacher know that I said you get an A for trying your very best and doing a wonderful drawing. Okay. All right. We've got one line down, one line up. And then three little circles there. Those form uh, rivets. Okay. And then there's horns. Uh, so we're going to add a little line here and a line here. And then we have horns sticking out of that. It's a very detailed drawing. If you are having fun, and I hope you are, how about giving me a like, okay? Just do a like if you're having fun. 
If you're having lots of fun, subscribe so that you can tune in every day. Yes, I am back tomorrow. Yeah, the troll does look very much like a va Viking. Okay. Uh, I'll add some more little warts and things here. All right. And then we've got down, scribble, 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 down, scribble, 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 scribble. Uh, Tammy asks, am I going to do this until you go back to school? Well, if everyone would like me to, I will. Um, as long as everybody's having fun and enjoying this and is willing to tune in every day for the class, then I'm willing to come here every day and draw for you, okay? But I need you to be here, so come on by and visit. We're going to draw uh, a little, like it's a belt strap going across the front. If if this class is very popular and stays popular, then I will keep doing it even once we're back to school. I'll just change the time once we're all back to school, okay? But let's see how it goes. All right, we've got a little square here and then another square inside that square and then two lines inside that square. You are all doing such a good job. I'm, I'm so happy you're all here and that you're drawing. Do this for as long as I live. Well, I'm never going to stop drawing. So sure. And I do visit schools. I travel to schools all over the country, actually all over the world. Uh, last year, I was in Saudi Arabia. Uh, and I've been to England and of course, Canada. So we got the legs sticking out down here. We'll get back to the arms. I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in a little town called Oakmont. Okay, around, out, kind of like we did with Bigfoot. But the feet are a little smaller. Can I come to your school? Well, the school has to invite me. If the school invites me and they bring me out there, then I'm happy to visit every school I can. But... Tell your teachers about me. Tell your principal. And I'll be happy to, uh, I love visiting these places. I'm scheduled right now. I had uh, So I'm here because I had a lot of things cancel. A lot of things cancel. But um, I will actually start up my touring once school starts. I'm scheduled to go to Missouri this year. And I'll be in California this year. So I'll be doing a lot of traveling this year. A little bit of fur here. All right. And then we've got to add the arms and hands. Stacy, you are Polish. I'm Polish too. I'm not from Poland though, but my family was, my uh, great grandparents were from Poland. Gonna add the arms. Well, if you're for those who are homeschooled, you can tune in every day. Alexis says, uh, "I'm Danish. Um, my great 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 grandfather um, was from Denmark, and we just found that out. We didn't know, so." I went a little fast on that one. I'll slow it down to this side. You have the thumb and then around one, two, three. And then uh, some claws we're going to add. Is it Emmeline or Emmeline? Well, Emmeline or Emmeline, whichever it is, you're doing a wonderful, wonderful job. 
Try your very best. Follow along. You're going to get better each and every time you tune in and you draw. Okay? Uh, Hilda. Hi, Hilda. My good friend Hilda has asked how you can buy drawings. Um, I will post that. Um, it's actually, um, you can request them by messaging me. Uh, for anyone who's buying drawings, the grown-ups who want to buy drawings, kids, I don't want you trying to send me money. <laughs> Your parents have to buy the drawings. Drawings are $15. And uh, you can message me. You can contact me. You can email me. Find me on Facebook. I'll list all of that at the end, okay? Claws. And sign your name. Take pride in your work. There we go, everybody. Nicely done. Um, normally, this would be the time to end, but is does everybody want to stay for one more drawing? If I hear some yeses out there, I only need to hear a few yeses for people who want to stay for one more drawing, and I'll do one more drawing. Okay? All right, that's a whole lot of yeses. All right, but we're going to do something very special and very different right now. We are going to create a squonk. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about a squonk before I draw it. A squonk is based on a Pennsylvania folktale. It's a very old story. And a squonk is the ugliest thing you ever will see if you ever do see what you never will see. You see, a squonk is so ugly, it does two things all the time. It hides because it's ashamed of how it looks, and it cries out of self-pity. But because nobody has ever seen a squonk, nobody knows what a squonk looks like until today. We're going to draw a squonk right here, right now, with your help, and I'm going to ask some questions. I need everybody uh, who wants to join in to answer. The first question is this. Does a squonk have big eyes or small eyes? Type in either big or small. Big eyes or small eyes. Okay. Hi, Blue Dog. Okay, I've got big, big, big. I don't know. Um, small, very huge. Oh, my goodness. How many want both? One big eye and one small eye. Type both. Big, big, small, small, big, huge. Both? Oh, there's a both. One, two, three. Both, 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 both. Oh, my goodness. It looks like both's going to win this one. All right. So one big eye and one small eye. And then the pupils. Remember, this is supposed to look ugly and gross. Now, next question. How many of you want bushy eyebrows? Or thin eyebrows. Who wants bushy eyebrows? Who wants thin eyebrows? Type bushy or thin. Let's see. Thin, bushy, bushy, thin. Oh, oh, both. Uh-oh, I have a lot of both. Um, But it looks like bushy's going to win that one, okay? All right, it's time for you to make suggestions. I need you to think of an animal that has a funny-looking nose. Do not name friends, teachers, or relatives. Animals only that have a funny-looking nose. Who has an animal with a funny-looking nose? Just type it in. Oh, elephant's good. Oh, I like elephant. Pig. Um, hippo. Uh, alligator. Platypus. Piggy. But lots of pig. Anteater. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, elephant. Anteater. We're gonna, okay, we're going to do elephant, anteater, pig. All right, these are good suggestions. Um, how many want to nose like an elephant? Type elephant. How many of you would like a nose like a pig? You'd look very silly with a nose like a pig. And how many want a nose like an anteater? Who wants me to just do all three? Who says all three? We'll do all three. All right, here we go. All three, we're going to combine them. Uh, pig, ant, eater, and elephant. So we have an elephant's trunk with a pig's snout. And coming out of that snout, an anteater's tongue. Ooh, that's gross. Well done. Okay, so it, there we go. All right. 
Next, you guys are doing great. <laughs> Next, I got a line coming down like that and then a line up like that. Next, should it have antlers like a moose, uh, horns like a bull, or floppy ears like a rabbit? So antlers, rabbit ears, or horns. Okay, so ant who, who says all three? Oh, oh my goodness, everybody's catching all three. All right. Horns like a bull. Antlers like a moose. And floppy ears like a rabbit. Good. All right. Those are you guys are doing great. Next, we're going to just add the top of its head, have a little lump like that. Should we give it teeth? Should it have sharp teeth or round teeth? Sharp teeth. Unicorn, is this supposed to be ugly? The uglier, the better. Make it really ugly. I want it to be the ugliest thing ever. Round, round teeth. Okay. Next is it furry or slimy? Furry or slimy? What do you think? Furry or slimy? Slimy, 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 slimy. Slimy it is. Fat or skinny? Fat or skinny? Fat or skinny? Um... Uh, yeah, everybody. Fat and slimy. All right, here he goes. He doesn't have feet. He just has slime and he oozes along. All right. Does he have long arms or short arms? Long or short arms? Who says long? Who says short? Long arms or short arms? Both. Both. Oh, both, 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 both it is. Okay, both. All right. I've got some grown-ups in the room. We've got some kids in the room. Um, let's see. How many arms should we give it? How many arms? If you want, we can use your age. What's your age? Somebody's 10. 10 a good number. Four. Lots of fours. Oh, my goodness. 300, 25, uh, 7, 11, 12, 19, 14, 109. Oh, my goodness. Tw there's another 25. Okay, we're going to do 25 arms. All right, here we go, everybody. Ready? 25 arms. Are you ready to draw this? One. Two. Three. Four. And the rest are on the other side. Okay, so we don't have to draw the rest. They're on the other side. All right. Does, he, does our squawk have spots or stripes? Who says spots? Who says stripes? Who says both? Okay. All right. We're going to do stripes on the, the trunk. Stripes on the arms. And spots on the body. Now, I said a squonk does two things all the time. It hides and it cries. So we need to make our squonk crying. And there, for the first time ever, is the world's ugliest creature, the squonk. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. You have just drawn a squonk. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in today. I know we had a lot more requests we could have gone into, but we did a full hour today. We normally only do a 40-minute class. We did an hour today. So glad to have had you all tune in. Uh, thank you so much. A couple things I need to let you know. Uh, today's class was based on my book, Myths and Monsters. Uh, all my books are available um, all over. Uh, oh, sorry, let me get rid of that. The books are available at mysterylovers.com. That's my local bookstore that carries my books. And uh, they're, they're just great. They do a wonderful job. You can visit me online. You can follow me at Twitter, 
I'm Maze Tunes. Facebook, Maze Tunes. Instagram, Maze Tunes. TikTok, Quick Draw Tunes. Uh, GoComics.com. Sign up. Lots of free comics there. Um, and I'm Maze Tunes on there. And then my website, MazeTunes.com. And right now, you get a free coloring book on my website, and you can print up uh, over 20 mazes. You can just print up tons and tons of mazes, okay? Um, if you're not allowed to subscribe, that's okay. This isn't for everybody. It's okay. Just do what you can. Lastly, grown-ups, grown-ups, not kids, grown-ups. Um, if you want to support me um, by making a donation, you could do that at PayPal. PayPal.me slash how to tune is my PayPal account. That's for grown-ups only, not the kids. Um, if you want to support my work. If you're interested in purchasing any of the drawings, um, you can message me um, through Facebook, uh, Instagram, just about anywhere, and i would be happy to sell you any of the drawings. They're $15. But that's not. That's just for our grown-ups in the audience. All right. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in. I will be back tomorrow. And I hope to see you tomorrow is by request. So see you tomorrow and stay tuned.